And thank you so much there, Professor, for joining us. How has this recent attack in Moscow changed how Russians view people from Central Asian countries, do you think? Well, I mean, of course, creates quite a bit of fear, at least in the short term, uh, because you have these memories for some, uh, of course, of those days in the early 2000s when you had terrorist attacks. Uh, and the, there is this difficult relationship, as you stated in the beginning of this segment, uh, between those migrant labourers uh, who send the money back, which is needed back home, uh, and live this parallel life uh, in Russia. So this sentiment, I mean, has it always been there or where does it come from? Well, it, it comes from those difficult times. I mean, having lived in Moscow earlier, I mean, it, it, it was noticeable um, if we go back to the 90s and early 2000s. But it, in more recent years, it, it has become less pronounced. Um, because you have a change in, in, in Russian society. Uh, but, of course, a terror attack like this, I mean, then you have this face of the the other and this suspicion because you don't know, will there be another terrorist attack or not? So now, after this attack, do you think the authorities are going to be tightening the migration laws there after this? Or could they actually afford being without these migrant workers? Well, I mean, you, you have a similar situation in Russia with these migrant workers that you have in a number of the EU countries, uh, that you have this large, uh, relatively unskilled workforce that does a lot of jobs uh, which the locals uh, do not want to or uh, wish not to do. So, I mean, they are necessary not only uh, for the Russian uh, economy, but also their economies back in the Central Asian countries. All right, Greg Simmons, an associate professor of international, international relations, I should say, at Chiriba University in Latvia. Thank you there for joining us from Uppsala, Sweden.